Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to share how you can create some conditional suppression of features using feature properties in Inventor. I wanted to share this because last week I had a support call and the solution was actually to use feature properties to accomplish what the user wanted to use. And feature properties are one of those things that Quite frankly, I forget about all the time. They're very powerful and you can use them in multiple different ways and they just kind of don't get a whole lot of attention. And their whole purpose is to allow you to create conditional suppression of specific features. And you might say, well, Steve, I can do that through iLogic, which is true. The, the big key here is I don't need to create a rule. I don't need to know how to do any kind of programming, which can be intimidating to folks and I can still accomplish something pretty much the, the same result. So kind of just want to walk through a scenario here. So I've basically got like a little bracket plate type thing here. It's got some holes in it. And maybe I want to just turn off the holes. If this bracket gets to be smaller than three inches, maybe we don't need any holes in it or there's some other scenario there. But I want to keep it somewhat simple. So I've already got everything set up quite right here. Um, if I look at my parameters, I have a length parameter. I didn't give anything else any more meaningful names than that. If I go over to my whole one, I can go down to the properties. You can see here it's the name of the, the feature, suppress, always, or if. If I enable the if, you can see that I can then pick a parameter. And this list is based off of any named parameter or something I'm giving some sort of descriptive name to and any parameter related to that to that feature. So one of those D values is the offset from the end and one of them is the diameter. I didn't name them so I'm not sure which one is which. Uh, it doesn't really matter here. Length is the key I want to, to, to kind of focus on here. And I'll say that I want to suppress it if this is less than three. So if it's three we'll still have the holes. Anything less than that we'll turn it off. And you can see here that I can do some Additional will make the sketch adaptive, make the hole uh, depth, normal diameter, things like that. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, you know, those were aren't really part of the the conditional suppression. Those are additional features here that we have uh, access to. But I'm going to say okay. So nothing happens because right now the length is five. If I go in here and I change my length to something like three. Let me get this box out of the way so we can see this in action. So if I set it to three, it will shorten. I still have my holes. If I go to something like 2.75, those holes get suppressed. You can see here in my browser, I had a hole and then I had a feature of that hole or a pattern of that hole rather. And that gets suppressed as well because of the dependencies. If I go up to something like six, everything gets turned on. Come back here, go to like say 2.875. Again, once I get below that three, three mark, I am suppressing those. One other thing to mention in this dialog box is if I get into this value here, I could actually have it test if it's equal to something else, some other parameter. Here I'm just using a static value for my example, but you can see there's a lot of different things I could do here. I could have it read some other value and determine if this feature should be off or on. In that case there, it was based off of a, a OD. It wanted to have some sort of embossed text on the outside of the part was the support question. And we were able to utilize this function to accomplish that. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully you found this information helpful and something you can apply in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.